welcome to the Organic Beehive. In today's video, we are doing the last video of my three-part series, which is all about how to cut your chicken bill in half. The first video was about fermenting your feed. The second video was how to sprout your seeds. And today's video is all about food scraps. So all the information for those videos and blog posts are going to be in the description box below for you to refer back to. But today's video, we are gonna talk all about food scraps. If you are new here, welcome. I am an aspiring homesteader living in just your regular cookie cutter little suburban neighborhood. And we are trying to make this lot work for us as our little homestead. We have about a third, a little under a third of an acre where we garden and we raise chickens. We cook a lot of food from scratch. That's pretty much what my channel is all about, is just that journey on figuring out how to live that homestead life while living in the suburbs, right? I'm not in my dream home yet, and I think a lot of us think that we need to have that acreage in order to start that lifestyle, and I'm here to debunk that. <laughs> like I'm here to encourage you that you can do it no matter where you're at. And in fact, I actually encourage that because here's the thing. When you get that dream property, if you haven't started on your journey of homesteading, you're going to be lost and you are going to make mistakes, but those mistakes are going to be done on a far bigger scale than say if you were just on a less of a third acre lot. So have we made mistakes? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but those mistakes were not losing, I guess, as much money. It's not as risky, uh, say, as if we were on a much bigger lot. So, so welcome if you are new and welcome back if you have been here before. Today's video is going to be all about food scraps, which this is actually going to be probably a short and sweet video compared to some of the videos that I have done in the past, which is really hard for me because I don't know, I feel like longer Long form content is really great for some things, for a lot of things, but um, some things are just straight in to the point, just like today's topic. Food scraps are such a great thing that you can also feed your chickens that will save you money. Now, when I say food scraps, you are probably thinking, you know, the leftovers from last night's dinner, or maybe you have some greens ready to go bad in the fridge that you don't want to throw away. Those are perfectly fine for chickens, but I'm going to have you think even more outside of the box when it comes to food scraps. Because here's the thing, food scraps are great, right? I am not adding that to the landfill and the garbage. Um, I'm instead feeding it to my chickens. But I'm also pretty good with using most of the food that we have on hand. Um, my husband's a chef, so he is very, very knowledgeable on what we can do to like recreate a meal. So we don't have a ton of food scraps. And on top of that, we're only a family of three. So we really don't produce that much food. So yes, food scraps are great. But for me and my family size and lifestyle, it really wouldn't amount too much food scraps. Here's where I encourage you 
to, I guess, get a little uncomfortable. I am going to admit that I am an introvert and so I am not to one to go out and talk to strangers and ask for really bizarre things, but that's what we're doing in today's video and if I can do it, you can do it too and I will walk you through and help you know what to say so that you can have more food scraps for your chickens. Here's what I encourage you to do. I encourage you to think of some places around your home locally that might have food scraps. You know, this is, we're talking like a bigger scale here, right? Maybe your child's school might have food scraps. Maybe a local restaurant. Maybe a local, I don't know, health food store. I don't know. Think about places around your home that will have lots of food scraps to give away. My husband is a chef, so he is on the inside of the food service industry. He wouldn't be the only one to tell you that there's just so much food waste out there. And if they knew of somebody who would be able to use that for the you know greater good, they would love to give those food scraps away. Now the reason that I personally don't get it from my husband's work is because we raise our chickens on an all organic diet and I found a place close to home where I could get organic food scraps. So otherwise I probably would. Otherwise I probably would, but the place that I have found it is a health food store and within that store they also have like an organic food cafe where they sell smoothies and juices and salads and entrees and all that. So we, I actually shop there regularly for raw milk. And so it's like if I'm already going there once a week to do a little shopping, I can always go to the organic cafe and ask if they have any food scraps for compost. Um, that's just what I do. Um, it was something, it was, it was one of the places that I chose to go with first because it was organic. But I decided to try some of the organic places first that were close to my house because why not? You know, we are a little more strict with our chicken's diet and ours as well. And so if that was available to us, I was gonna go with that first. And we were so lucky and gracious that they do have extra food scraps for us. But Otherwise, I don't think it would really bother me. I do a health food store, like you said, like I said, you could do restaurants, schools, other places that does food on a larger scale. And in fact, if you can think of some that I didn't mention, go ahead and put that in the comments below for some more ideas. So once you have figured out where you want to try and see about food scraps, then you actually have to ask, which is, I guess, the hardest part, but it's really not that bad. So I went in and I said, do you happen to have any food scraps that would be good for composting? Now, I don't plan on doing it for compost, but a lot of people know what you mean by that. I mean, I could have also said, do you have food scraps that I could feed for my chickens? But either one would work. They should understand what you're trying to say, right? All you want is food scraps. So you would go to the establishment of your choice. You would ask if they had food scraps and you know, you do want to make it a little easy on them. Um, maybe you give them a bucket uh, and, you know, say, I'll be by once a week on Mondays 
um, fill this bucket up and I will come and pick it up once a week. Um, with the partnership that I have with our health food store, uh, they say that I can pretty much stop by anytime I want and then they'll just give me like a plastic bag of like the juice pulp or or even the food that they didn't get to that was about to turn. Um, they will give me that as well. But you don't want them to jump through hoops. I mean, after all, they're doing this. They're doing this on their own time and it's helping you. So you want to make sure that you are you are clear on the expectations like you are clear on the expectations. You work out some sort of commitment that works for both of you and just feel them out and see what works. Maybe you do once a week, maybe you do every other week, maybe you don't even need to bring a bucket for them to fill it. Again, you're just gonna have to have the conversation with them to see what is easiest for them, right? They're doing you a favor. So you found your establishment, you have your script, you know what to say, you get your food, now you can feed your chickens. Now this is not like the, the bulk of their diet. Again, I've mentioned that the bulk of their diet for me is the layer feed because that is so they are producing the eggs specifically. This is just outside of that. So usually I'll start off the morning giving them the portion of layer feed and then later in the day, is when I will give them the food scraps or my seed sprouts. Now I know I'm gonna get a question on, well, what foods are safe for chickens and what aren't? Obviously you're gonna stay away from processed stuff, but hopefully those food establishments are using whole food ingredients. And so if they are, I don't really worry about picking out anything. Um, the chickens are gonna naturally avoid certain foods. Um, I noticed that there, sometimes there's citrus in like the juice pulp that I get and they will, they'll just pick away, they'll avoid the citrus. So in my mind, I feel like the chickens naturally avoid what is not good for them. I know that's not always true, um, but for the most part, I trust that the chickens are gonna make the right decision and so it doesn't really bother me. If it bothers you, then this might not be an option, but I did want to throw that out there for you in case this was a really good idea. And as always, you can do your own research and make sure that the food that you're getting from these establishments are healthy for the chickens to eat. It's easy to just Google the food, see if chickens are, you know, tolerant of it, and usually you'll know right away. But it's an easy Google search away to see if it's good for your chickens or not. So to recap, pick an establishment that would have food scraps on a bigger scale, and obviously you can still use your food scraps. Um, I went over what to say to that establishment and then feed your chickens the food scraps. Like I said, it's quick, it's short and sweet and that is the topic for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, comment below with some of your ideas of where you might be able to get food scraps for your chickens. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.